is the Earth Science Classroom. Welcome back to the channel. This video is on the introduction to oceanography as a scientific subject and looking at the different disciplines that make up this amazing part of Earth Science. Oceanography is a relatively new scientific discipline. It began in 1876 really with the HMS Challenger circumnavigating the world's oceans, taking samples and gathering data for scientists to use to understand the oceans in more depth. <laughs> depth. Speaking of depth, the oceans are huge and massive and the Pacific Ocean by itself can contain all the land masses on Earth with room to spare. So it covers 71% of the ocean of the Earth's surface and has an average depth of 3,800 meters. Oceanography as a integrated scientific discipline has different components that breaks down the subject and besides it covering the majority of the Earth's surface and contain water molecules which is H2O plus dissolved salts at different concentrations and different densities and temperature of the water columns this subject is immensely connected to all the other sciences. Physical oceanography includes looking in more detail at the physics of how the water is going to move and be dynamic based on tides, based on density, based on ocean currents and the wave movements, tidal forces. So looking at geophysical cycles within the oceans themselves. So the part of oceanography that looks at the ocean floor, the sedimentation, the tectonics, the production of rocks and the rock cycle and geomorphology and looking at fossil fuel extraction and the layers of the rocks. This will be classified as geo or geological oceanography. Chemical oceanography uh, relates to looking at topics like salinity and acidification and dispersion, looking at various cycles within the water and the moon of water for example, carbon cycling and redox processes looking at the biogenic sediments of limestone. Biological oceanography or marine bio is a very popular part of this subject looking at different aspects like the evolution of life in the oceans, different species, habitats, food chains, biomes, coral reefs and all these different regions that have life in the ocean. Paleo-oceanography looks at the historical perspective, the ancient oceans, how they evolved, how they existed, why they changed over time, the evolution of these ocean basins, either tectonically or through the life, using fossil and sediment data to establish proxy estimates of what these oceans were like. So when you add up all of these five different disciplines within the subject of oceanography, you gather all this information about different perspectives, different aspects of the ocean and the sheer size and dynamic nature of the water, how it moves constantly through different currents and gyros and upwelling and uh, sinking of water masses and moving across the Earth's surface. And you understand that this is a very large and complex system that's only just started to be understood since the late 1800s. Mm -hmm. 